Hey everybody, welcome back to Anthony's Horror and More, and today I want to show you guys this quick Walmart, you know, haul that I got. I just found, like, I just had a really good day at Walmart, just found a lot of cool shit, and I just thought I'd come on and uh, share it with you guys, see what you think. But I like to make people aware of, like, especially when new, like, cool shirts come out and, you know, stuff like that, just cool apparel, especially when it's horror or, you know, nerdy or whatever, I like to make people aware of it right away so they can hurry up get out to their local walmart and see if they've got it now it's funny i went to two walmarts today and only one of the walmarts had this cool stuff like these cool shirts so you know you might have to go to a few different walmarts to track it down because they're all a little bit different how they're laid out and what products they carry and stuff but without further ado these are the shirts that i got and these are just so cool so here we go here's a nightmare on elm street And what's really weird about it is like this stuff is like on, almost on like the sides of the shirt. And this one, you don't notice it as much, but see how it like bleeds over to the back, the like Freddy's claw, it kind of goes, it's kind of like on the side almost. And then the shirt says, uh, ready or not, here I come. And then it's got like this, you know, like creepy ass face like on there and stuff. Um, and then this, what I really like about these is I like that this part is stitched in, you know, this is kind of like the more like that flaky material. It kind of breaks away after so many washes, but a trick is if you turn it inside out, it usually helps with that. Um, but yeah, I just love the way these look. I think they're so cool. And I could tell that these are brand new as well. Like these are just hitting Walmart, I think so. And they're only twelve ninety nine, so I mean that's the thing you can't beat those prices. I mean if you if you bought something like this from like a Hot Topic or a Spencer's, it would cost you like, you know, close to thirty bucks probably. So it's like, I don't know. You know I like I like Hot Topic and Spencer's, but they can be a little pricey. You know. All right, here's another one. How about a little TMNT? But you see what I mean? See how the images are on the sides? So they're like right there. You got your, they're, they're like on the sides and then also kind of going towards like the back of the shirt as well. See? It's just a cool layout for a shirt, I think. It's just so different. And once again, this part is stitched in. This is all stitched, stitched into the material. So I just think that's so nice, you know? Because even over time, if this starts to flake away and break off at least you'll still have the stitching on there so that's that's pretty cool all right let's keep it going i got six of these guys because i just thought they were so damn cool i will say this i just tried all these on they do run a bit small these are all double xls i usually fluctuate i can wear a double xl or a triple xl depending on how comfortable i want it to be or how big i want it whatever um I kind of wish I had gone maybe to triple XL with these and I could still take them back and whatever, but it's not the end of the world. I'm just letting you know that they do tend to run a little bit smaller. So it's weird. I don't know, like, um, like almost a little bit like form fitting, you know, you can kind of feel them on the sides, not all of them. The nightmare one feels kind of just normal and the turtles one feels normal. The two that I just showed, those actually feel pretty normal. For like a double XL, but these next four feel a little bit tighter, so you might want to go triple X with them. Um, just <laughs> triple X, <laughs> you might, <laughs> but you might want to. I'm just letting you know. Um, but look at this badass one we got Transformers, old school Transformers. Look at that, isn't that cool? Optimus Prime, Megatron. Let's roll out, so cool. Yeah, so badass. Once again, stitched in. The middle part's always stitched in. And then the sides are like, like I said, that other kind of material, that like kind of flaky, you know, whatever. Or you know what I mean? Like when it, it's that type of material that eventually will start to kind of flake off a bit. But like I said, if you wash them inside out, that usually helps. And dry them inside out, you know. Helps prevent that flakiness. All right. I've just learned this from over the years because I have so many graphic tees. It's ridiculous, you know? All right. 
And then we got Rick and Morty. Yeah. On the side. <laughs> See, see how it goes like on the side <laughs> like it's on the side of the shirt so it's not just covering the front or the back but it's like covering like all three parts in a way like a little bit on the front a little bit on the side a little bit on the back so when you're you know so people can see it no matter which way they're coming it's kind of cool it's just a different style i like that i like that walmart's like this really feels a little bit more unique you know it, i i don't know <clears throat> this one's dope too the Simpsons. Yeah, look at all the characters. You got the whole family there. Then you got like the side characters over on there. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? I will say that <laughs> it's fun. So this shirt here and the Transformers one they're both a little see-through like in the right light they're both like a little you not super see-through but just like a little bit you know um in the right lighting because of the material i guess maybe because it's just a little thinner and it's light you know so it's a little bit um so you might even want like an undershirt to wear under it or whatever just because the colors are lighter you know and stuff so just letting you know <laughs> <laughs> you know I'll wear it and show off my man titties with pride <laughs> but yeah just a little see through just letting you know there we go alright next up the best one and you'll know why the best one Get it on rats. <laughs> Chucky. <laughs> of course it's Chucky. Love this. This is so cool. See? And you've got the classic, you know, poster image for Child's Play 3 right there. And you got the classic poster image for Child's Play 2 with the Jack in the Box right there. So cool. Look at that. Only twelve ninety nine a piece for these guys. I mean, you just can't go wrong. But yeah, got those images, and they these really go off on the side. So you got like half the face on one side, half the face on the like half the face on the front, half the face on the back, and same thing with the jack in the box. It's just such a unique take, you know. Like I said, this is stitched in very cool i don't know i'm digging it and then of course i had to get some movies you know gotta get some movies right so what do we get here we got shanghai noon and shanghai nights for 9.99 get a double feature i love shanghai noon i used to watch that movie all the time like all the time i mean i would just have it like repeating you know <laughs> <laughs> when they're pissing on the uh on the shirt <laughs> to get it wet so that way they can bend the bars to like you know they're trying to bend the bars so they can get out of the prison cell that was so good <laughs> yeah it's so funny shanghai nights i don't remember as much i know it's not as good as the first one but owen wilson and jackie chan are just uh so funny together so look forward to rewatching that only $9.99, so it's pretty cool. And then, of course, we got Young Guns for $9.99. Really nice slipcover on this one. And Emilio Estevez on there. Emilio! And you got the regular, like, poster art right there. Yeah, for 10 bucks, you know, shit. Why not? Let's party. <laughs> All right. And then... I got really lucky with this one because my uh, procrastinating ass. John Wick, Chapter 4. Yeah, so it was funny. I couldn't decide. I'm like, should I go with the Best Buy exclusive steel book or the Walmart exclusive steel book? And I just didn't end up getting either one like a complete dumbass. <laughs> and so now I'm like, oh, God, I got to get out. So I went to Best Buy, no steel book. 
And then I went to Walmart, um, no steel book. But then I went back. And so the first time I went to Walmart, they had the John Wick tags all out and the spaces where they were supposed to go on the end cap, but there was nothing there. So I'm like, oh shit, they just haven't put it out yet. So then I went back today, um, cause I was there like yesterday or a couple days ago, but I went back today and I'm like, come on, have it out there. And I saw from a distance, the entire end cap was full. So I'm like, could it be, could it be? And then I went last one. This was the last one there, so I just got super lucky to get this bad boy. Yeah, this is, I mean, I'll be honest, guys, I think this is the best steel book for this. I really do. I think it's better than the Best Buy exclusive one. I just, I think the artwork is just, like, so good on this one. The UK, they have a good, a nice one, too, that's very similar to this. But I just think, um, I mean, look at that. I mean, you, you would hang this painting on your wall, you know? I mean, come on. So good. This is only Blu-ray and DVD, though. That's the one hiccup, but I don't give a fuck. That's good enough for me. I'm not passing on this steelbook. It's just too damn good. And then you do get these art cards in here, which is pretty neat. And then you got your, your discs. And... Uh, let me try to get these art cards out. So I can show the full image here. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, man. God, these discs are always such a bitch to get out sometimes. All right. All right. There we go. Got Skarsgård in there, Pennywise himself, the main villain with that awesome artwork. It just continues on the inside. So badass. And there's the spine. Yes. Yep. And oh, and of course, of course, you guys aren't going to be able to see this, but it does say first pressing. First pressing. Yeah, there's no way you're going to You can see it a little bit. <laughs> a little bit, but I promise you it's there. It says first pressing on it. So, yeah, really cool. So, yeah, guys, that was my haul right there. I just wanted to make you guys aware that those shirts are out there at Walmart. So if you want to run out there and get them, especially the horror shirts, you know, I've got obviously a lot of horror fans <laughs> that watch. But, you know, hey, man, Simpsons is cool. Transformers, Rick and Morty. Um... You know, the Ninja Turtles, like, all that stuff's cool. So, yeah, get out there, get your horror shirts, get your TMNT shirt, you know, get whatever. Um, but, yeah, that's it. So, uh, please, thumbs up the video if you don't mind. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, comment down below. Let me know which version of the John Wick Steelbook you got. And, um, yeah, let me know if you guys uh, find any of these shirts or anything, uh, or if you're even interested at all. Maybe you're like, hey, fuck you, Anthony. We don't even like these stupid-ass shirts. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think they're pretty cool. I like the designs on them. And, uh, yeah, I was just so happy to, to find them. It was just so random. But, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This is Anthony's Horror More, and I'm out of here. Peace out.